Welcome to our deep dive into the world of databases. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a developer who has encountered some unexpected challenges while working with a massive Wikipedia data dump. They downloaded the inwiki latest pagelinks.school.gz file, which is a hefty 37 gigabytes when unpacked. But after importing it into their MySQL database, they noticed some surprising results. The import process has been running for over a day and the database size has ballooned to 79 gigabytes with over 500 million rows. Let's explore the intricacies of this issue and find out if these numbers are to be expected and how to potentially speed up the import process. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the size of the page links table and the number of rows it contains. You mentioned that the uncompressed size of the page links table is 79 gigabytes, and it currently has over 500 million rows. Given the structure of the page links table, which includes multiple indexes, it's not unusual for the size to increase significantly during the import process. The size of the table can grow due to the overhead of indexes and the way InnoDB manages data. Now let's address the import speed. You calculated an insertion rate of about 3,236 rows per second. While this may seem slow, it's important to consider the complexity of the data and the number of indexes being maintained during the import. To potentially speed up the import process, consider disabling indexes during the import and re-enabling them afterward. Additionally, optimizing transaction settings and adjusting the InnoDB buffer pool size can also help improve performance. Finally, it's essential to monitor your system's resources during the import. Ensure that your MySQL configuration is optimized for large imports and consider increasing the available memory for better performance. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To tackle issues with the Wikipedia dump table page links, the user suggests splitting the large 37 gigabyte file into smaller chunks. This helps manage memory better, especially since most machines can't handle such a large file in memory. The user recommends using a program called SQL Dump Splitter 2 to separate the SQL structure from the data. This program can split the file into manageable sizes like 1 GB or 500 MB chunks. Importing each chunk takes about 10 to 20 minutes and the total time for splitting and importing can be reduced significantly potentially down to just a few hours with the right machine. The key takeaway is to split the file in any way possible and then recreate the structure and data separately. This can drastically reduce the import time from days to just a few hours. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The 
data dump of 37 gigabytes leads to a 79 gigabit InnoDB table, which seems reasonable. However, when considering overheads, the table size could exceed 120 gigabytes. This suggests some details might be missing. The overhead includes 20 to 30 bytes per row and 20 to 40% for B-trees. It's also important to change unique indexes to primary keys for efficiency. For performance, set the InnoDB buffer pool size to around 11 GB to efficiently cache the 79 GB data. Also, check if the source data is sorted for better loading speed. Finally, a buffer pool size of 128 MB is too small and will hinder performance. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.